Hey guys, I did a very simple, easy mod to this Defiant flashlight that makes it just so much better than the stock flashlight. Now, I picked these guys up at the clearance rack in Home Depot. One of them I got for like $7, the other one I got for $4, which is a pretty good deal. And they're a 2 AA light, and they come stock at about 70 lumens. So, let's see. This is the stock one that I haven't modified yet. And turn this off. You can see it's fairly bright for the money. And then we have move these down here so you can see them a little better. This one here that I modified, which as you can tell is considerably brighter and has a different tint. You're probably not going to be able to see it very well, but the tint is noticeably different. The stock one has a much bluer tint versus the uh, regular one has a uh, very plain tint. It might show up better with the lights on, we'll see. But either way, very simple mod to do and took me about maybe 10-15 minutes with a soldering iron and I'll show you real quick all you got to do. And the parts were only about six dollars guys. So when you take the head off there is a little plastic retainer in here that also has a little plastic or a metal cap you can see in here that goes into there. Uh, but you can see there's a little electronic board back there. And that's called the driver. And that's just a little piece of electronics that regulates the output. I replaced this with what's known as a boost driver, which basically takes your 3.6 volts from your double A's and ups it to the voltage for the LED, which is like, oh, I think like 4.2 volts or 4 volts or whatever. So that's just a simple press fit in there. I literally took the old, popped the old one out with a screwdriver, put the new one in. And what it's going to have, oh, there it goes, is two little wires, and we'll take off the, uh, how do we do this on camera? You guys got a little action, huh? You see there's a reflector, lens, and all that. Set those aside. And in here is now the LED. Whoops. <laughs> this video ain't going too good. Uh, there's a little plastic gasket, which you want to make sure you don't lose. It goes around the LED. That helps keep the uh, reflector from shorting out on the wires. And you can see there's a little piece of aluminum in there. And that's called the pill. And you can remove that completely with a pair of uh, pliers or tweezers or whatever. You pull it out, it screws out. It just you know it screws in there like a plug. And basically now what you have in there is your LED board. And I replaced it with a 219C Nichia LED. And all you have to do, guys, is you pull this little piece of uh, aluminum out, you screw it out, you press fit this driver into the bottom, you run the wires up through, and you solder them to the LED. Very simple took maybe 10 minutes and uh, now you have and I'm not going to be able to put that back together because I got to get that gasket and all that and now you have a bit of flashlight to test at 270 lumens as opposed to 70 and has a much nicer tint it's a, a nice you know kind of warm white as opposed to that uh, bluish tint that the original has so guys this is something you can very easily do the driver cost me I think four dollars the uh, LED cost me about $4, so overall $8 invested, and I have a really good 270 lumen 2AA light. So, simple, easy. I might do a video and do it with the second one and show you the whole process start to finish. We'll see what kind of response we get, but very simple, very easy.